Kremski with RJ Homes and Remax Elite here and today I wanted to show you around this beautiful bungalow listing uh, just came on number 36 Starling Drive in the heart of Short Park in Brentwood um, just wanted to quickly give you a look around here at uh, the street so Starling Drive is a beautiful very quiet street um, as you can tell this bungalow is just absolutely meticulously maintained from the outside. I'm just going to spin the camera around here just to show you. Um, here we go. So, starting from the roadway, I wanted to show you uh, just how beautiful this home looks from the outside. Curb appeal is very, very important. As you can tell, the owner meticulously took care of it. They recently added this uh, brick driveway that can accommodate at least three full-size vehicles. They've updated uh, most of the windows and doors uh, with newer uh, as well as the shingles. You can of course see that there is a wheelchair access area and of course this absolutely beautiful lawn here. Um, this, uh, this property has been owned by the same owner here for 46 years. So um, they took very good um, pride of ownership in this home and uh, they basically raised their family here. As you can tell, it's a beautiful size lot. You don't get too many of these in the newer areas now, um, mostly really small lots. So just take a look at this. Just tons of space, mature trees, the whole neighborhood is just full of them. You just don't see this anymore. So this home just shows what can be done if you keep your home well maintained and how beautifully landscaped it is. Now I'm just walking around here to show you. It's got air conditioning. Um, the newer windows here, nice deck, and that's right on the floor. So you actually don't, the floor, I mean, uh, right on the ground. So you actually don't even need this railing, but they've got it there. So I'll just uh, walk around back to the front just to show you more of this lush green lawn here. Isn't that just something? So we're just going to go around the front. As you can tell, this driveway has lots of room for three vehicles, three full-size trucks. So just going in right through the front door here. Some stairs. And here we go. First impressions are very important, so have a look at this. Look at what you see. Just absolutely beautiful, very well maintained. Now, I did want to mention this home has actually received multiple offers within 12 hours of being on the market. And I want to mention a few reasons why. So when I first came in and I first walked through the front door, of course, it's been very well maintained and uh, the owner has taken very good care of everything and keeps it very clean. But there was a lot of extra things that were in the way um, of showing off its full potential. And uh, of course, that's normal when you're living in a home for a long time. So as you can tell here, if you look closely at the carpet, the carpet's in great shape, but it shows you where there was a table right here. So this is right in the front entrance. This actually didn't show off the beautiful space that's actually in this home. So we just had it moved and rearranged the furniture a little bit just to show how open this living room really is. Now this home, this bungalow is 1187 square feet upstairs. So it's actually quite spacious um, for the age. This was built in 1969. Um, you can see there's lots of room for a dining area here. I'm gonna just flick on the light so you guys can see a little bit better. So there we go. 
Now you can see this dining area is actually quite large. They have a dining hutch in the, on the wall there and still has plenty of room. This table folds out to be uh, able to accommodate an extra uh, four guests. So this is lots of space in there. Now it also, the table was expanded when we first, uh, when I first saw it. So I suggested let's bring it down to a little bit smaller size if we can, and just to show off the actual space in here. So there's a lot of things that the owners um, have done to change the look of this home just by merely removing a few pieces of furniture, um, redecorating a little bit, and uh, depersonalizing, decluttering, that's so important. Taking a look at this kitchen. Now this is an original kitchen, but again, very well maintained. Uh, kitchen cupboard doors have been painted, so it's still nice and bright in here. Um, it has the white appliances. It even has a trash compactor. You don't see too many of those anymore. But as you can tell, it's very nicely presented. That's what's important when you prepare a home for sale. And in today's market, it is still a buyer's market, um, so you do want to do your best at the first impression. That's so important. Um, so I'm just gonna show you around a little bit more here. This is a three bedroom bungalow, but if you look in here, this is actually just used as a sitting room, but it is a full-fledged bedroom large windows and you've got the closet there so it still displays and shows off the space in this bedroom so you can see that there's lots of room for a bed a dresser night table now moving onward i'm just going to show you the bathroom here this is the only full bathroom on in the home it is uh, original vanity, but the tiles have been upgraded. So has the toilet. Of course, it's nice and bright in here. It's been painted. Um, has a nice deep tub. Um, so there you go. That's an air tub, actually. So moving on, I just want to show you these this other couple of bedrooms. Um, so this bedroom here at the end of the hall to the left is one of the other smaller bedrooms. But again, I wanna show you where there was a dresser right here. You can see right at the end of the bed, there was a dresser. It did not show that it had very much space to even walk by. But by removing that dresser, just take a look at how much more space is now available for you to see. And it's still quite a functional bedroom. It shows you that it's got a queen size bed, two nice size, stands nightstands again you've got the newer windows uh, neutral paint very important to make sure that you appeal to the masses as far as buyers go um, we realize of course that when you're living in the home you've got kids colors maybe you, you're painting a room uh, for one of your children that is uh, maybe they like pink or blue or purple but when you go to sell you have to present it uh, to the masses and you want to make sure it appeals to everybody so neutral colors is the best way to go that's what they've done here this of course used to be one of the children's room now it's just a spare room now master bedroom again very tastefully decorated and as you can tell we also used to have a little table here if you can, I'm not sure if you can see the marks on the carpet the carpet's in great shape and then right at the end of the bed again there was a dresser there I'm not sure if you can see those marks on the carpet so again that did not show off the potential of this room but by removing that dresser just take a look at how much space there is in here now that's a still a very large bed lots of room for a nightstand closet and still has room for an armoire again you've got the nice big bright window neutral paint colors throughout this room just as the rest of the home and in this particular master bedroom you have a two-piece ensuite again it's got that updated tile 
original vanity, but it's been painted as well. So you have the nice bright white paint. It's got the newer counter, medicine cabinet, a nice, really beautiful paint. Kind of like a pastel yellow, nice new window. It just goes to show you it's very, very well presented. This is a very good example of how to show off the home in its full potential. Now, I'm just gonna walk around here and show you guys the basement. So the basement is actually right beyond that door off the kitchen. So what really is nice about that is you have a completely separate entrance to the basement from the back. So just a couple of steps up. You can go to the backyard right there, or if you turn, you go down the stairs directly into the basement. So as we go downstairs, again, you'll see that it's very bright down here for a basement. It's been very nicely painted, neutral, light gray colors. And look at this space. So originally when I first came here, just to let you know, we had some furniture here, right at the bottom of the stairs. So if you look, there's the stairs and there was furniture like right there, a couple of feet away. So what we did is we moved this furniture. Uh, the, I, might, I suggested that we just reorganize the room. That whole living room set that you see over there was actually placed right here where these chairs are. And then the rest of the area was kind of open. So what we did was move this all around and uh, opened up all this space. This bar um, was actually spun around with, uh, it was kind of like a walk behind bar. So we spun it around and had it facing the wall to again, create all this extra space down here. Makes such a difference, just reorganizing the furniture. And now if you look around, you've got a nice little sitting area here. Window, and then take a look at this cozy space for the family room down in the basement. Now just imagine all this furniture was actually placed right behind me here. I'll just show you right there, right where those chairs are. So this was sitting area with the TV and also this uh, entertainment unit that you see was actually, that's what was placed right there on the right by the stairs. So it definitely did not show off its full potential of this room. And now just rearranging the furniture, look at what a beautiful space this created. So it's very important to uh, make use of the furniture that you do have, um, or if you don't have furniture and you have a vacant home, you wanna use a stager uh, to bring in some furniture to show off the best potential of, of the home. Now this is the fourth bedroom down here in the basement. And again, this one is being used as an office but you can see there's lots of space in here. Again, neutral paint, nice and bright. Um, you can see it's got the full closet back here. It's actually a pretty large closet. So there's lots of room for clothes. This one happens to have a laminate floor and like that's a very large desk. So you can see there's plenty of space in here to have a full bedroom set. Okay, so moving back through here, I'm just gonna go back upstairs to just uh, show you what this home looks like when you're actually seeing it from the bottom of the stairs and going in through the back entrance. Now, again, if you take a look at, everything's just in, fantastic condition, painted, bright, to let in all the light and, and, and reflect all the light. It makes such a difference. You have neutral pastel colors in the kitchen here. So everywhere you go, you see how beautiful this home is and all the spaces are nice and bright. Makes a big difference in how it's positioned, how people see that first impression, it's so important. So as you can tell, when you have homes that are in this good a condition and there's really nothing left to do, buyers love that. Nobody wants to do extra work if they don't have to. I'm just gonna spin this around a little bit. Uh, let me 
let's see here. Here we go. So again, uh, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I know I scheduled a live open house, um, and so I wanted to deliver. But uh, in this case, this home received an offer right away on the first day. Yesterday, we listed it in the morning. Oh, sorry, on Friday. Friday, we listed it in the morning. And uh, by the uh, evening, we had multiple offers on this property. We uh, also listed it competitively priced. So that's very important. You want to make sure that you're, uh, you're reviewing your, all your competitors, all your comparable homes in the area. And make sure that you're priced competitively. If you want a quick sale, you need to be priced competitively so that the buyers can see that you're the number one choice. You're the one that should be the one that they offer on. So I hope this was helpful for you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. If you have any questions whatsoever about uh, your home value or, or maybe uh, you, you have any questions about, about the areas in Short Park or in the Edmonton area, please feel free to contact me direct on my cell at 780-222-8222. Of course, you can always reach me on my email at rob at rjhomes.ca. Have a wonderful day, everybody.